Welcome to Move Daily Fitness, I'm Tracy Steen. All right, your workout today is the format where we take one exercise, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds in between, repeat it for three rounds, three rounds before moving on. But we're gonna alternate between cardio, lower body, upper body, and abs. So it's gonna be a great total body workout that's sure to get your heart rate up and build some lean muscle tissue. So you're gonna require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today and we'll start with a warm up and end with a cool down. All right, are you ready to move daily? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and hit hit intervals on our watch there. All right, a little side to side lunge to start to warm things up a bit. Before we jump and hop, that will be our first set is a cardio exercise. And just to get blood flow going, warm everything up. Excellent. We're expecting a heat wave here in um, BC. Let's go down and up. Just gently push your hips forward. It's supposed to be 40 above. Um, like starting tomorrow, I think, for the next four or five days. That is hot. Just feel for people who don't have air conditioning, that is just not, it's not easy to sleep, is it? My goodness. Or people camping in tents? Mercy. Reach across, hopefully they'll be near a lake. Get some dip in the cold lake before they have to sleep at night or ice cold shower. That's when that uh, cold water therapy seems like a great idea when it's that hot. Reach up and over. Good. That'll definitely warm our local lake up tremendously, no doubt. In three, two, and one. Let's hit some circles here. Good, switch directions. Walk tiptoe, reach overhead for 10. <clears throat> One more here. And take it wide. Open the chest there. Even our hiking group is trying to bump, bump it earlier. Hike early in the morning. Denise and I went at 6.30 this morning and it was so hot, it was already 24 above. So, be nice to go before the sun comes up. Last one here, good. Hands on your shoulders and twist. My members down in Arizona are like, oh Tracy, you have no idea. <laughs> I know, it's not hot compared to some places, that's true. Last four here. Good, and just stay wide. We're just gonna warm up that lower back and hamstrings a bit here with a toe touch. I feel like adding this one, it just helps that sciatic to warm up. Two more here. All right, you are starting with cardio. There's your first exercise. All right, I'm gonna start by doing a burpee front walk. So you're gonna burpee here, low, front, front, back, back. Walk the burpee out to mod. Here we go. And you're supposed to start with the bang. Boom, boom, back, back, and burpee. I'm just using push-up handles to support my wrists here. If you're curious what these blue things are. Low enough walk. That'll warm up the glutes. Very good. Okay. It's getting us going. Round two.
Burner for the legs. Now three. Excellent. If you're touching the ground during your pulse, just turn your dumbbell the other way. Here we go, shoulders back and work. And squeeze at the top. Then moving to an up down plank rotation. All right, elbow, elbow, hand, hand, push up to rotation. You can mod from the knees, starting in hand and toe plank, bum down, elbow, elbow, hand, rotate. Now, elbow, elbow, switch sides, rotate. Down here for abs. Good. 
Take our pen break. Whew. Round two. And work. Those arms behind you like that. Feel mine. Cardio coming up. Two twists with a squat jump. Torso twist jump. Last here. All right. Stand. Moderate here. Twist. Twist. Squat, otherwise we jump. for me. 30 seconds on one, 30 on the other. Split the difference on the last. Tiptoe and drive. Good. Push hard through that flat foot heel. Stay here for a full 30. I'll call halfway at 15 seconds. Switch on the fly. Let's 
Last here, switch toes. Get on that tiptoe. All right, dumbbell switch, I'm gonna grab 12s. Shoulder press, hammer curl. You're switching on the fly. One up, one down. Here we go, switching to center, press, center, press. I was gonna use 15s. Glad I grabbed 12s. This is heavy. center, press, switch in the center, good. Starfish for abs. I'm gonna grab my five pound dumbbells. You can do it without. All right. Whew. Let's work. Okay, opposite hand touches opposite foot. Alternating. Here we go.
shuffle if you have energy. Mama needs a break here. Last round, then legs. You got the Monica coming up. It's a squat deadlift combo. Okay, I'll try to show you quick here. I'm gonna use 15s. Suitcase squat first. Then you bring the weights in front. Hip hinge, then stand. Here we go. And stand, here's your side view. Squat, hips. And the deadlift in reverse. My members will be happy with this one. This is their favorite. One of their favorite exercises. <sighs> so to catch your breath, stretch your head, itch your ear, and here we go. Toe touch. So get ready to head to the ground. Super flat back. Leave the chest. Touch, now switch sides, push up and touch. Or lie on the ground, go a little bit higher if you need. 
Try to get your legs low to the ground. Think of your back pushing into the ground. All right, hug your knees. Round two coming up. Ready, here we go. Scissor. Here we go. Feel free to keep going or water break. And just so you know, my watch stays running during my break. It's about two to three minutes usually. That's going to give me more calories burned. So my heart rate's recovering. So, FYI, if I burn more than you, that's part of the reason right there, too. Four, three, two, and one. All right, break your knees, keep it going. All right, a double uh, scoop <laughs> for up squat. One, two, instead of just one. That's what I meant. Walk to mod, here we go. Touch the ground, one, ground, one, ground. If you wanna just do, um, like, I don't know, right? <laughs> back. Keep your head up so that your back is rounding. I was going to say if you want to do just one to one, that's more challenging. You know, like me. So I'm adding that extra. Here we go, round two. This is very challenging still.
sure your step's not super long so you can push yourself back up. Of course, you can bond with no weights if it's too challenging. We're gonna reverse lunge, round three. A lot of quad here. Ground for a shallow tricep extension. Chest press, I'm gonna hold my 12s. I'm gonna press to the ceiling, come all the way down. Shallow overhead, then return. And press it up, come down. Shallow overhead for tries, return. Palms are facing each other. I'm holding my 12 pound dumbbells. Up, down, and return. Right wrist, Darn my 15, other 15's up there. These are a little bit light, but we'll keep it going. I don't wanna move, here we go. And up, down, shallow back, return. <clears throat> They're adding up now, maybe a good thing. All right, one more round. Then abs, we're gonna do a side crunch, like an oblique crunch, let's stay down here. Take your time. We'll stay on the same side for 30 seconds. Reach overhead, crunch everything in, elbow to outside of your thigh. Here we go. Long and crunch, long up, up on my butt cheek. Legs don't touch the ground if you can. Okay, good, and up. Other hand is right out in front of you to counterbalance. Flip it over. Whew, I'm sweaty. Arms out and overhead. And bring it in and open. seconds aside it'll be a quick transition maybe just roll over I'm gonna just roll so I'm gonna do it this way ready here we go and in maybe increase your pace so you get a few in per side here three two one roll it over and work <laughs> too close to the wall All right, come to standing. Four scissors, two jacks. You'll mod four top, taps back, two jacks right there. And one, two, three, four, one, two.
one more. Take it to the ground next. I'm gonna grab that 20 pound dumbbell, put it on my pelvis for a long bridge glute thrust. So get into bridge, dumbbell here, legs wide and far away up, down. So my feet aren't close to my bottom. I've walked them way out so I can feel this a bit more in my hams that glute ham tie-in. Okay, up, up. So as far as you can muster. I just walked them out an inch further and now it's all hamstring. Okay, ham glute, wow. Up, up. All right, look how far my feet are from my bottom. Right, a good two, three feet maybe. Two, three, two and a half, I don't know. Here we go, and up down and one one thousand down and one one thousand down Good, one more here, holy hammies. Then we're gonna stand and do a single side one arm row. I'm gonna actually hold this 20 for that as well. So get ready for that. And up, down, walk your feet out, up, down. this so just stay up here and row slow up good Put your 
those out. Clean and snatch for your cardio next. If you're not a fan of the burpee, you can hit high knees. You can modify the burpee. You can leave out the snatch. I'm going to use a 15 pound dumbbell on mine, okay? And we'll do one side for 30 and then the other. All right. One more round. sides. Need a sip. All right, 
alternating now. Perfect. Ready? Single double arm elbow on the upper body. I'm gonna grab tens. Woo. Single, double, Arnold. Single, single, double here. Dance to support your lower back. You can walk around if you need. Up one more. Oh, get that deep breath in there. Let's work. It's getting heavy now. Hard to hold that 90 right here. Holy hell, no, it's hard. And keep going though. Stay in the pocket. Let's go, five seconds. Come on, push hard. Up. And there it is. Woo! Come on. Plank walk out. A little bit of arms in this, unfortunately. Walk forward, forward, back, back. Bot from the knees. So you're up, up, and tap. Up, up. You wanna lengthen through those abs and then crunch them back as you pull your hands under your shoulders. Okay, even my shins are sweating. I tell you, this is work, isn't it? Round two. Take it to the ground. We're gonna go on our backs, feet are on the ground, hands up to the side. 
Let's let those legs gently fall to one side, trying to keep your shoulders on the ground here. Bring your knees together, okay? Boy, do I ever feel that in my torso and back. You can always grab your thigh and increase the stretch by driving that knee toward the chest. Okay, really try to keep your shoulders on the ground though. Oh, that was fun, hey? Good combination, not too much cardio, like not an overt amount. I like that better for me. Switch sides, I like a little bit, but I did a big walk this morning, Denise and I went already, like I said, early. So that is also cardio, so I kind of wanted to do a little bit more strength today, but still, sweaty workout, and over 400 calories burned on my watch. That was a big point of discussion the other day on our Move Daily Hustle Facebook group, which you're welcome to join, hamstring stretch here. Um, I can't remember her name now, but one of the gals shared that she, like, she's like, oh, you always burn more calories than I do, and it's frustrating. I try, and I feel like I'm working out the same. But I wrote back, and lots of us chimed in that there's just, there's so many variables, isn't it? Isn't there? Um, you know, like your age, the intensity, the duration, one of the gals said, Tracy talks the whole time too, which takes extra energy. It's true. Maybe just shut up, Tracy, <laughs> for once. Um, but it does, like my heart rate's up high because I have to exert through that, right? So you should just try talking back to me and see if you burn more. That's a good idea. Um, and that there's a margin of error. They say about 30% on trackers. Feet together, knees open. Little gentle rock side to side here. Uh, but also one of the biggest factors is where's your resting heart rate start? If it's super low, it's going to take high, you know, longer to get up to a, a high rate, right? Let's grab our knees, roll in the back. And that's how it calculates is your, your heart, your pulse. So if you have a lower pulse to start with and it doesn't get up as high, it's not going to calculate as many calories burned versus if you have a higher resting heart rate, which I do. Possibly because my heart is like a little mouse's heart. Like just pitter-patter, let's get at her. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah. Anyway, one of the things that is great to note as you become more fit is that your resting heart rate should decrease as you become more fit. Because you increase the velocity of oxygen, your lungs ability to pump oxygen through your body, and uh, your heart's ability to recover from something intense. So. Technically, your resting heart rate should begin to drop as you increase in fitness. But again, lots of variables. And I think I said this the other day. I'm sure I said it. I can't remember where. But anyway, my husband has, like, instead of two veins going into his kidney or arteries or whatever they are that go in. Sorry, I don't know. He has three. and But the top one is collapsed, which means, let's just stretch through the back which means either the top third of one of the kidneys doesn't work, which increases the, the pressure of the heart to pump blood to the rest of the kidney, um, or just that whole valve doesn't work. So again, he's got higher blood pressure because that one's collapsed. So anyways, there's lots of variables. You just don't know, right? Unless you go into full on testing. And if you go into like, you know, a lab or they'll do certain tests, you know, that this watch is not going to be accurate, so. Plus, like I said, sort of during the workout today here, like I'll take, a, I did a two to three minute break in between and I leave my watch running. So two to three minutes is going to be an additional two to three, uh, 20 to 30 calories burned. Twist, drop the shoulders. Um, and if I do that three times, there's your extra 100 calories. So do you see what I'm saying? But I calculate it from the start of my warm up to the end of the workout. So that's my calculation. And like I said, I account for the breaks because typically I'm just grabbing water and bringing my heart rate down. Don't sweat it. You're moving daily. That's all that counts. And thanks for doing that with me today. Uh, here's a workout for tomorrow or here. And thanks for joining. See you in the next workout.